Hi guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started on your first animated GIF using Photoshop. So you can see, I already opened my three files here. I have winter three, I have spring, I have summer. Three landscape-based photos. And those should all be open before we get started on this step. If you have not opened those, you should go ahead and do so. Uh, as you know, I want you to complete these same steps as you go. Uh, that way, you are basically trying everything that I'm trying and hopefully gaining some insight. So, let's get started. I'm just going to go to File New. And this is going to create a new canvas. Uh, our width, we're going to set to 700. Our height, we set to 450. And we want to make sure we are in pixels. Pixels here. And we're just going to hit OK. So you can see a few things here. We have a new document. It's called Untitled 1. We have a layer over here that's titled Background. If you can't currently see your layers, or this here, or simply go to Window and check off Layers. Okay, and that will pop, these, pop this up here. It is important that you have this here. Right, so just make sure that you have your layers turned on. Um, very simple. We're going to bring our images into this file, our untitled one file, one by one. So I'm going to start with, let's start with Winter. And all I'm going to do is go to Select All. Uh, or you can do Control A. So let's go select all. And then going to copy it. And that's it. Copy. And that's Control C. And all I'm going to do is go over to Untitled 1 again. And I'm going to go Edit Paste. And there is my image. It is massive, right? It does not fit my canvas right now. So we need to resize it. In order to do so, I go over here to my mouse image. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see um, this square automatically pops up around my image because I've used Photoshop before. It may not pop up for you. So you need to check off these two items. Auto select here and show transform controls here. And that will allow us to resize this image. And we're going to hold shift while we do so. You should know why. It is to keep your image proportional. All I'm doing is holding shift, sizing, holding shift, sizing, and I just want to fit my canvas a little better. We're almost there. That's a little too small. I'm going to hold shift and make it larger. And you know what? I'm going to have it hang over the edges a little bit. If I'm happy with it, I simply hit enter. That's it. I have my one image in here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So, winter to spring. So, I'll go to spring. Um, select all or control A. I just did control A. Edit copy or control C. Just did control C. And I go over to untitled 1. And I go edit paste or control V. Now, this image is a lot smaller. I'm just going to drag it up here. I don't want really that white information, so I'm going to drag it off the edge. And this time I'm going to hold shift and make it larger. You can see it's highly pixelized. I'm just going to place it right there and hit enter again. A little blurry, but you know what? This is just practice. I'm not too concerned. Uh, before we go on to our summer file, just take a look over here. Your layers. You have layer 1 and layer 2. They have the eyeballs just like Adobe Flash. You can turn these on and off. You may see what's happening here now, okay? Layer 2 is not visible right now, because it's under layer 1. So if I turn layer 2 off, I can then turn layer 1 off, and I can see my background, which is just white. So let's go ahead and bring Summer in. I'm just going to go Control a Control c Control v There it is, it's much larger. Resize, hold and shift. <laughs> Clearly, these are not the same types of trees, but you know, it doesn't really matter here. Just practicing. I'm kind of happy with that. Turn layer 3 off. There it is. Turn layer 2 off. And layer 3 off. Like this. So I have three images. Very simple. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and actually start our animation. If 
I go to Window, I'm going to check off Animation. Very simple. This seems very confusing right now. Rather than work with this, we're going to go right to this bottom right corner. Um, we're going to convert to frame animation. So you can see we have frames now here. Um, and again, there's only one frame, so that's that's not going to do us do what we want really. Uh, we want three frames, one for each image. So I'm going to check off create new layer for each frame here. Again, to do that, I just put this menu and create a new layer for each frame. And... Why isn't it doing it? Oh, I'm sorry. Here it is. We want make frames from layers. Um, I'm going to hit that, and there we go. We have three frames here. There is even one for the background, okay? So you will see, I have frame one selected. It has the background turned on with the eyeball. Everything else is turned off. I select this next one, just layer one is turned on. Layer two and three are turned off, the background's turned off. Let's hit that next frame. Same thing, finally. There you go, okay. Um, your times are also here. Ten seconds for the blank slide. We don't want that, really. So we're going to change that. Uh, and zero, zero, zero. You can manually go in and change these. Maybe one second. Maybe a half. If I click on that first one, I hold shift, and click on that last one, I have them all selected, I can change them all, 0.5, and what happens when I press play? It plays right through. Look at that, our first animated GIF. So, before we go ahead and submit this, you may want to mess around a little bit, make some adjustments to these images. Let's go back to layer 1. And over here is our text chat. I'm just going to click that T. Allow for it to initialize the type tool here. And there's two things you can do. You can actually draw a text box. Or in this case, I'm just going to click and release. And it will now allow me to type. So I'm going to type practice. And you can't see it because it's kind of white. It's no red. And go practice animation. And the type is too large, so I'm going to change that too. I'm going to click over to my mouse tool and move it over here. Again, it's too large. Let's go in. I kind of like how that A is significantly larger, so I'm going to keep it that size. I'm going to Let's change practice here. I think it was 16. Let's go 12. Let's go 12. Let's check it. 12 it is. So, I now have practice animation. Text right on there. Okay. You know what? I don't think it's too bad. Again, that was on my first little slide here, my first frame. If I click my second frame, though, look, it's still there. I might not want it here. I go over to my layers, turn it off for that frame. It goes away. If I click back to the first one, it's still there. However, it's on my third frame now. Go back over here, turn it off. Do the same thing for your fourth one. There you go. You now have practice animation. Very simple. A few other things you might want to do. I'm going to go ahead and click layer one. I'm going to go to Image and Adjustments. You can make all these adjustments. I prefer that you mess around with these a little bit to see what they can do. I'll show you a few, just starting with brightness and contrast. Ooh, hmm, maybe a little bit brighter now. Maybe a little darker. Maybe increase the contrast. That really pushes the white, huh? Let's go over to this beautiful color image that isn't so beautiful because it's so pixelated. Let's go to adjustments. This time, let's mess with the colors a little bit. Maybe we really want the green to push. And maybe we really want the red to push, right? Maybe some yellow. Maybe some blue. Up to you. Okay, we're just messing around here. And let's go over to this last image. This time, what should we adjust? Um, hue and saturation. Let's just push this a little bit. 
Really go green. Okay. And this looks fake, right? And I'll reset. Okay. Gonna hit play. And there it is. Beautiful practice animation. You should submit this when you are done. Um, and I will leave directions right online on how to submit this for now. Good job.